I have lots of hope. Uh, I'm very positive indeed. I think, as I said, Thailand is known to be a very inclusive and diverse society. Um, and I think the key is for UK and Thailand to be frank about the challenges where they exist and open to addressing them. And I, I feel that the people I speak to in Thailand about uh, gender diversity, about LGBT plus rights are very positive about this gender. I think the future is very bright. I think there's a lot of great opportunities and it's nice to recognize that what needs to happen and across the different sectors as Mark has been mentioning and knowing that the challenges people face and trying to bring it together with legislation, it's, it's a very positive future. The British ambassador to Thailand, Mark Gooding, and his husband, Christopher, shares their hopes on achieving gender equality and ensuring fundamental rights for the LGBT community in Thailand. This year also marks a decade since the UK legalized same-sex marriage and when the first same-sex weddings took place. Like many other countries, the UK has witnessed a social shift on gender equality, yet they also dealt with challenges throughout their journey. This week it is the 10th anniversary of the first same-sex weddings in the UK which is an important event in its own right, but I think it marks uh, decades of progress in the UK on LGBT plus rights from decriminalization of homosexuality in the 1960s through to uh, gay adoption, equalization of the age of consent. Um, and then the Civil Partnership Act uh, took effect in 2005 in the UK. And I think it's very interesting because in 2010-2011, most of the polls showed that only about 40% of British people supported equal marriage. Um, the legislation was then enacted in 2014, which took effect in 2015. Um, and last year, the polling showed that about 80% of British people support equal marriage. So social views have actually moved very, very quickly. And you see the same happening in many, many countries. I think that's a good thing. It can make the UK more inclusive, more diverse, and have a happier society. Despite the legislation to protect LGBT rights in the UK, the British ambassador noted that many problems persist. The biggest ones are bullying, discrimination, and access to healthcare for LGBT people. Therefore, he believes that the most vital part is raising awareness about LGBT rights and tackling discrimination against the LGBT community solve every problem so even if you've got the best legislation in the world you can still have discrimination so there are challenges in terms of raising awareness uh, among people and business and employers about the importance of inclusion and diversity and there's plenty of studies around the world that show that uh, if people feel they're able to be themselves in society and at work they will be more effective they will be happier there will be more innovation and creativity so i think it's a, a big plus for society to uh, protect and promote lgbt plus rights uh, as well as diversity and inclusion in all its forms um, and where there are challenges and i mentioned some before in the uk now where you know there are still incidents of violence against lgbt plus people homophobic bullying in school is still an issue uh, so we have challenges and we, what we need to do is share experience with our partners around the world, including Thailand, on how best we can deal with those challenges. The UK is active uh, in this agenda around the world. We've got new funding that we announced last year for global action to tackle violence against LGBT plus communities, to tackle discrimination, to improve access to healthcare. So we, we're active everywhere and we want to work with the government here in Thailand as well as civil society groups to uh, protect LGBT plus rights. Although Thailand is perceived to be an inclusive and diverse society, he still believes that a lot of work needs to be done to ensure fundamental rights for the LGBT community, such as legislation and the education system. He also thinks that gender representation in the Thai parliament should also be improved. Regardless, the ambassador is optimistic that the Thai government can successfully push for marriage equality in the very near future. Nad Bunag reporting for Thai PBS World.